Now we got a little background decoration to make it look like we're in a gym and we're lifting weights. What is up? The Rampage Open is here and it all starts this Friday with the liftoff. Guys, the liftoff is super fun. This is a chance to come out, lift some big weights, do so in a competitive environment, and then score some points for your team. More details on that later. So this Friday, we are inviting everyone that is officially signed up to participate in the Open. You can still sign up this week if you haven't yet to come out and lift with us. So let's get into kind of how this is gonna look. In this video, I'm not going over every single detail. I am gonna go over some important things that you guys want to know of right now. Now stay tuned in your email and then also on SugarWad for some more um, written out details and then also probably another video or two with more things pertaining to the lifts themselves. So something you need to know, and this is the same format as last year, is that by Thursday night, you must declare what weight you want to attempt first for both lifts. So the two lifts, if you haven't heard yet, are a three rep max shoulder to overhead, meaning the bar is gonna come from the rack, as you see behind me, and you will have to get it above your head locked out three times. Now, it doesn't matter what variation of lifts you choose to do, or if you even do the same style for all three reps, that's fine. More on that at a later date. The other lift is a six rep max front rack lunge. Now that lift is gonna come from the ground. So power clean and then lunge forward and back or backwards and forward, but you have to stay in place. So back to these opening attempts. In the lift off on Friday, you will have four attempts with plenty of rest break in between to perform this lift and the goal is to find your absolute heaviest a lot of you may even fail your final attempt because that's how heavy you're pushing and this might be new territory for some of you and that's kind of the fun of signing up to do a competitive style lifting event like this so what you'll find if you go to friday on sugar wad right now friday the 10th and you scroll down you're going to see a spot that says enter your weight for the uh, three rep shoulder to overhead, and then another spot, enter your weight for the six rep lunge. What you need to do is just click log result and put in one number, and that number is going to be what weight you wanna do on your first attempt. Now, if you were here this past week, we had a day where we practiced the front rack lunge, and we built up to a heavy set of four, but there was also some cleans with that. So that should have given you guys an idea of Okay, if this is what I can do for four. I kind of have an idea of what I want to shoot for, for a heavy set of six. So let's backtrack a couple attempts and pick a lighter weight and go from there. And then we're gonna do something similar this week on Tuesday for the shoulder to overhead, where you're going to get an attempt to practice in class Tuesday, a, I believe, a two rep shoulder to overhead. But do not go for an all out two rep max Tuesday. Your coach is gonna remind you, I'm telling you right now. Tuesday, you're looking to build to something moderately heavy to get some practice with the skill of that movement and then also build some confidence that you know you can hit a decent weight with plenty of room left in the tank. It is not smart to go for an all-out max twice in the same week on the same lift. Your body's probably not gonna perform as well the second time. So Tuesday, you're gonna to get to practice. So what if you weren't here last week, you weren't here Tuesday, or you're just still unsure? Well, I want you to take what you think would be like a really good number that you'd be proud of hitting, and then maybe add five or 10 pounds, depending on how strong you are, male, female, things like that, and put that as like what your ultimate goal would be for your fourth set. So your third set would be something like, you'd be proud of, that'd be a really good day. So then you might subtract another 10 to 20 pounds, another 10 to 20 pounds, to get back to that first lift. And now that's different for everyone. It's kind of personal preference a little bit, but you definitely want your first attempt to be a lift that it feels heavy, but you're confident you can hit, right? There's no reason that you should miss this. So again, get on Sugar Wad before Friday. Guys, if you do not do this until Friday, it's gonna create a huge headache for myself and for the staff trying to reorder everyone. Because what we're gonna do, once you've entered those numbers in Sugar Wad Thursday or sooner, we're gonna take everyone that is participating in each session. There's a 3.30 session, 
and there's a 515 session. You will reserve in Zen Planner per whose team you're on and what time you want. That lets us know how many people are participating in that session. Then we go to Sugar Wad, we take the list of everyone, guys over here, girls over here, two columns, and then we order them from the lightest opening attempt to the heaviest opening attempt, and then we put you guys into little groups in lanes in the gym, so you are lifting only with other people that are very similar in strength to you. So each lane, just like last year, is gonna have four or five people. So you will lift, and then you will go to the back of your line, and then the next person, next person, next person, and then you will be up again. Then, once you've completed your lift, made or missed, you will help the person that's in line next add weight so they don't have to touch the bar. So you lift, you turn around and say, hey, what weight are you doing? And then you add or subtract, which it's only gonna be a small amount to get to the weight they want because again, you'll be lifting with similar strength people. Then after that, you will immediately walk over to a staff member and tell them what you want your next lift to be. If you made your lift, clearly you wanna add weight. If you missed, you've got a decision to make. Was it a technical miss and you know you can still add weight and you're confident? Were you really close and you wanna hit that again? Or do you think that was a bad idea and maybe you need to go down? Those are all options. It's up to you to walk over to that staff member and say, hey, I want to go to this weight next. Then you'll just get back in line. All right, so we will recap all of what I just said the day up. So now what you need to know is that we're not leading you through a group warm up. If you're here for the 3.30, be here at 3.30. If you're here for the 5.15, be here at 5.15. What we'll do is, similar to this video, we'll brief exactly how everything is gonna lay out. You'll see what lane you're in, who you're lifting with, and then the opposite side of the room we will have is a warm up area. And you will go over there and you'll warm up. Do not, this would be a bad idea, do not warm up very close to what you're planning on hitting at the end of your four attempts. Just warm up near your first attempt. And honestly, if you put your first attempt on the bar in the warm up, you probably only wanna do like one to two reps. If it's a lunge, maybe two reps. If it's overhead, maybe one, just to feel it out. Don't do the full thing in the warm up. Save that for your first attempt. All right guys, so this video got a little bit long. That's okay, this was important details. Again, stay tuned in your email and on SugarWad for other news and videos about this week. Uh, feel free to ask myself or any of the other coaches questions that maybe you don't have the answers to yet. And most importantly, determine what your opening weights are going to be. Get on SugarWad, you can do that right now. Scroll over to Friday, enter what both those are. All right, thanks for watching.